today's video, we're going to cover three different behaviors. Uh, the grow effect, the glow effect, and the hover effect. So let's go take a look. Here we see this uh, castle type environment and you can imagine maybe we've completed our quest and now it's time to collect our reward. And we come down to this magical chamber and we have to decide which object we want to, to receive as our reward. So here we have a magical spell book that just floats all by itself. That's our hover effect. So it's just going to float uh, between two points at a, at a designated speed. Uh, we have the glow effect. Now this one might be a little harder to see. I'm just going to leave the camera on it for a moment. But you can see that the, the compass is glowing and it's using its own yellow color to glow. So if it were, say, a red object, it would glow red and so on. It's using the emissive color of the object itself to glow. Um, and then lastly, we have grow, which is going to expand the object when I approach it. So watch this. So, so it grows as uh, when I get close to it. Uh, so let's take a look and see just how that's done. All right. So we'll start with the book. So the hover effect here has three properties that we can set. Uh, this was a little tricky to get used to, but I kind of figured it out. Basically, the lower height is, think of that as the floor or think of that as the lowest point at which it'll hover. So if I look at the positioning of this book its y position right now is 45.7 so it kind of just sits on top of this little pedestal um, i want it to hover between 50 and then hover height is two so that would mean it would go up to 52 so it's just going to hover between 50 and 52 and then the speed element here the default setting is 100 which is pretty slow i'm going to show you that just to illustrate my point uh, let me go ahead and restart that game and come back to the book. You can see it's quite a bit slower. And so that means that a lower value is going to be a little faster. So I had it set at 30 and just for, oops, that's 300. That'll be way too slow. Um, yeah, let's take a look and just see the difference. So you said now it's just kind of hovering back and forth that steady pace right right where I want it. So that worked out really well, a little magical spell book. <clears throat> the, uh, see, we, would, we did glow next. So let's take a look at glow. So this says that the object will vary in strength uh, of the emissive texture applied to the object. So the first thing we have to understand is what is an emissive uh, texture? So if we look at the materials, uh, this is the... Uh, the emissive color, I should say, is, is what it's basing it off of. So I could, I, sp I misspoke earlier. Uh, I said that it was using the texture, and I apologize. It's using the color that I set. So in other words, yeah, I could I could make it grow, glow red. Let's try that. Let's make, get a nice deep red and give that a try. So let me start the, uh, oops, let's start the game. It should glow kind of a, a red color. Right. So you can play around with that and see what other kind of effects you can get. But it's really that just that simple. The um, oops, let's go back to the behavior. So you're going to give it a min range and a max range. And that's going to be the range of uh, the effect and then the speed of the change. So um, you can play around with the speed. Let's see a, a higher number. Let's go ahead and set it to 50 and just, I think it was a little easier to see as a yellow. Uh, so let's take that back to yellow and have a look at that again. Okay. So you can see faster. It's really kind of pulsing almost as opposed to the original, which was a little slower. All right. And then the last effect is grow okay so 
uh, grow will make the object grow from a range um, from a range or from a trigger. So what does that mean? That means the range at which the player um, is to the object. So in other words, as I approach it, if I set an activation range, then that's when it'll trigger is when I get closer. I could also uh, logic link it to a zone and that way when I walk into the zone, that's what would activate it. So you have some choices there. Um, you also have the mode. You can uh, I, I elected to grow it on all three axes, but you could also just grow it on one or the other. The grow speed. Notice this is a uh, a percentage, right? So it's a I, I chose twenty percent. Um, so that seemed reasonable. I'm sure we could do you know variations. And then the grow scale. I went seven, and that's because initially I had chosen ten. And I really want to kind of illustrate just how much that is. So take a look at this. It, that's a great big old head, right? So that was a little weird. I figured seven did the did the job just fine. Um, the sound that you hear is this key. It's kind of like a key jangling. It's just you know something I chose. You could really assign any any uh, uh, audio to that. And and that's it. Now so, so that's three different behavior uh, behaviors that you can use you can use these in a lot of different ways i was trying, was trying to be creative and think well how can i use these in the context of you know a scene so i created this scene um and i, th I imagine that these are just these magical objects that you could choose from so if we wanted to expand on this we might have a quest and that quest uh, would end with you coming down to the seller and choosing an object all right, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, I would really appreciate a like. If you're new to the channel, uh, we're trying to grow the channel. So uh, if you want to see more content just like this, please uh, do click the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, helps it grow, helps get the word out. Um, and if you want to see more content or if you want to be alerted to videos as I post them, there's also the bell icon that'll give you a notification as soon as I post a new video. Uh, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching all the way through and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.